guys and welcome to my youtube channel in my last video tutorial i talked about how to create macro with macro recorder okay in today's video tutorial i'm going to show you how to edit a macro with vba okay that is virtual basis for application okay however I forgot to show you the format to say your workbook after recording your first macro in my last video tutorial okay make sure you save your workbook as exe macro enable workbook in the save as type option as dot x l x m extension so let me demonstrate that to you so just if you want to save your file, just go over to your file. Your work, we want to save your code. Go over to your, your file, then click on the save as. So let's assume that I want to save my workbook on my desktop. So I'm going to click on the desktop here. Right here, as save has start. Make sure your extension, okay? Extension right here. Make it, make sure it is in dot x l x m extension okay here make sure you choose the dot x l extension right here okay and then save your workbook okay so before we jump in and test the macro how there are a few things that i found out that i want to make a dict to one i misspell the basic p title here instead of writing the basic p i went ahead to write the word the basis p i need to go on and correct that now i don't want to re-record the macro because i have to go back through all those steps again this will just be a simple little fix that we will make within the recording that Excel created for us okay the second thing i want to do is i want to adjust the column width okay after adding added the auto filter features it started covering up some of my columns here you can see that the last name has got cut off also the first name employee id okay you can see and uh, location also i just want to make them a little bit wider just to accommodate for the drop down menu there that the auto filter creates for us so now once again i can re-record but that is a lot of step to go back to and we are just going to make a couple of simple changes here all right so now to edit a macro i am going to go back to my developer tab right up here okay at the top of the screen and along the developer tab here inside the code section i'm going to open up the virtual basic editor now the virtual basic editor is where all the code that is called the virtual basic or the vba or virtual basic for application are written that is recorded and we are going to jump into the code we could spend a whole number of courses just on vba and when you are going to get here that is the virtual basic section right here though it is a simple little section and hopefully that can pick your curiosity about what you can do inside of the virtual basic so i'm going to give that button a click okay good let me clear this okay this will open up completely separate window brand new window this is a futures this is the this is a virtual basic for application window along the along the left hand side have got um i've got my project explorer right there and i'm going to scroll down okay i'm going to scroll down 
when uh, scroll down when you record a macro okay when you record a macro inside of Excel through the macro recorder all oh, the code get stored okay all the code get stored inside of what is called modules so as it has created this modules folder so in there i got just one module if i give you the click i got just got one module right there and it will open up and it will open up if i give it the uh, double if i double click on it it will open up that module all of this test okay all of this test here is the code that is generated while it was recording my step okay now what i will suggest is you take a moment and just look through this code and see what is available for you or see what you can pick out right now what i want to do here is i want to first edit the basis p that i that i that i misspell in the first my last video tutorial okay i need to make it as basic 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 p so i'm going to scroll through here you can see scroll through here there is a line hmm? there is a line that says active cell dot format and uh, active cell dot formula rice c1 equal to basic basic p so i'm going to change that to what the basic p all right that is good so that is the first thing i want to change now if i keep scrolling if I say scrolling scrolling down there is whole sort of stuff in the in, in here i did bunch of formats formatting with my content okay right there okay um and i turn on my currency likewise i turn on my currency and uh, i turn on the currency style here is i did the date format okay right below that i have got where i i i adjust adjusting i i started adjusting my my column weight you can see it now below that i turn on what the auto filter section so what i want to do here really simple i'm going to take this column width okay i'm going to just take this column width hmm? okay i'm going to cut i'm going to cut that house okay i'm going to cut that house okay and i'm going to do a control x for my uh, from my keyboard and i'm going to paste it right down below the auto filler line okay you can see it right there i'm going to paste it right there okay good all right okay okay now but right now i've got quite num number of um hard numbers okay right here the with the 11.57 13 12.7 it is i don't want that that all right so i'm going to get rid of all those old numbers let's get get rid of it okay so i'm okay let's get rid of it okay okay um uh, just ignore that pop-up okay just ignore and let's do it so all those purpose doesn't have anything just ignore it it's okay i don't you do okay okay i'm getting rid of all those odd numbers right so now i'm done okay so i don't want those all those numbers but i want to do what i want to do here is, is that the column i want to do something like a a column b column um c column and uh, h column okay and i want to auto fit them so i'm going to replace the test right there that was there with the line that says the 
the selection in the line that says the selection auto filter by typing the word the auto fit okay by typing the word auto fit okay all right i'm making those editing in the okay now so now each line is now here is column a so i've done that to, to auto fit it so now and if you notice every time i hit on the my enter key or my down arrow it capitalized the a and the f auto fit there so if you notice very well so so i have asked him to do a column a okay and column b then a column c and uh, a column h i have asked them to I have asked him to auto fit all all of those columns for me okay all right so a couple of simple little changes here nothing big i have changed my spelling spelling correction and i recorded my column width uh, with the auto fill filters to ha uh, to happen last after the auto filter has already been applied okay however we can also make some other changes maybe i need to change my font size or i don't like something being bold or you know what just take a moment scroll scroll through this list see what is available to you see what you can kind of pick and decide to start editing your macros okay really simple to edit your macro is just a just take a little bit of knowledge about virtual pages itself so try this out thank you and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel as i'll keep giving you more of the excel function bye